Hello, this is a Lockthon, please, and I know I haven't made a video in a while because uh, No Man's Sky hasn't really done anything new in the last month or so. So I went back to Skyrim, and I figured out a tip that I think other people might find useful. This may be a common tip that the power players know, but I have not been able to find any information on it, uh, despite all, a bunch of different attempts at Google. So I'm going to demonstrate it here in case anyone else finds it useful. Um, one of the common problems, high frost, that we have in, that a lot of people have in Skyrim is keeping track of where you are in complex mines and ruins. And I have found that frost spells are really good at this because they leave a mark which stays around even through a couple of uh, load screens or transitions. The one on the left here is Frostbite, which is a novice level spell. It's, a, it's available immediately to any players that uses very little magicka. I'm fairly sure that the wizard in Whiterun up on the hill sells it. This one is Ice Spike. It's a, a, a second or third level spell. It uses a little bit more magicka, but not, a, but not a lot. And I like this one better because it leaves a much more precise mark, and it also travels further. Although there does seem to be a limit on how far it does travel. Although it usually sticks lasts. There we go. It stayed there. Um, Ice Spike uh, is much messier. Um, so here we are in Embershed Mine. This is the mine that most people encounter first in Skyrim. And so since you probably know what the layout is, I thought this would be a good place to demonstrate this technique. Um, I, I started technique actually using the bound bow um, which you can get early in the game it's at Fort Amal and I'll put a link in the description on how to find it because the, the spell tome is, is pretty hard to find but the reason I like this is because that's very visible and you can even point directions with it the problem is is that if you're in places like Dwemer Ruins or other places they bounce so you don't have nearly as much control but of course if you're using this you can uh, use it as a weapon uh, as you're sneaking around and doing things I should also mention while I'm here that the main downside of this technique is that it ruins sneak um, casting any spell at a low level is gonna mess up your sneak unless you have the quiet casting uh, perk in illusion however as you see this requires 50 in illusion and that is pretty hard to get especially if you're not a major ma magic user I don't use illusion much under normal circumstances the thing I use most is actually clairvoyance and I use calm or pacify on horkers when I don't want to get in fights with them so like I said frostbite and ice bike are both de de destruction spells and I'm fairly high level, I think I'm 59 here, and so I have a lot of things that uh, other people aren't, aren't going to have. Um, for instance, when I'm sneaking around in a mine or in a ruin, what I like to do is I like to put my marker in my left hand and either de detect dead if I'm in a Nord ruin so I can detect Draugr or detect life if I'm in a Falmer place or a place with bandits or I use Arl Shout, Arl Whisper if I'm in a place uh, with Dwemer automatons. Unfortunately Arl Whisper is a very tough uh, shout, shout to get and you can't get the third level unless you join the Dark Brotherhood. Anyway, so Oops, that's still bound, but I, I don't want to do that. Um, I marked. So I'm going to sneak around using Detect Life in one hand and my marker in another hand. And avoid the trap. Okay. I'm just trying to keep track of where I've been. I've been here. Oh, look. There's someone down there. Let's change to a weapon. 
take care of them. Switch back to our markers. Now I'm going to pretend I don't know this is a bridge. Um, so, oops, wrong thing. Been here. Oh look, I have a decision to make. Do I want to go down there or do I want to go over there? Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go here second. I'm not making. I'm deciding not to go here now. So I'm going to leave two marks. And I am going here. And I'm gonna loot some bandits. And I'm gonna mine some iron. And I'm gonna see if there are any chests in the water. And I probably need to bathe anyway because this person has been adventuring for a very long time. Nothing here. Okay. Do 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 do. I come back up here. I've been here. But I decided not to go here. I'm gonna make this new one. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so I I'm coming up here. I, I see that I haven't been I haven't gone through here before. I'm gonna make a third mark. Wow, I'm doing this really poorly. I apologize. Okay, so now I'm 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 going through here. Oh! Another decision. Let's not go here first. Let's move on this decision. Ooh, look, there's something down here to loot. There's a, a journal I can pick up. Let's mark that I picked up a journal. And if, this, if there was a skeleton to loot, I would mark that. Pick up some mushrooms. Let's say I haven't gone back since I've been here last. Okay. Been here. Now I'm going through here again. Marks meaning I've decided to go through here, even though I hadn't. I decided not to go there the first time. Oh look, a lever, and it opens up a place I haven't been. Let's mark the lever. I've done that. Let's do it better than that. Now, there's a lot of spill casting here, and you don't have to be this complex. I've just developed a system that I use with m multiple marks. For the longest time, all I did was just make a mark to say, okay, I've been here. So if I'm lost and confused, I can say, oh, I've been through here before. Um, and I developed the idea of using multiple marks just because I would get stuck in a loop, and I couldn't keep track of how many times I'd been somewhere. So that's why I use three and four marks. Oh look, there's something I can sp I can snipe. Let's sneak around here. Of course, this is a mine I know really well. Maybe so. No! Okay, go back to my spells. I go in here, I happen to have the key. Okay, I looted that. I didn't do this, I looted him. Oh look, another door. Let's go through in here. There's nothing in there. Okay, in there. Do 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 coming in here. I would be casting this every once in a while. I happen to know that the next person I see is that Smith down there. So let's switch to my bow. Snipe them. Oops. You didn't, you didn't see that. Now I have a very high sneak and that? so they didn't really see that. I can go back here and hide. And go back into sneak. Maybe. Okay, let's switch to my markers. Oops. Go away, I'm dude. Sure, I heard something. Ah, 
I really should have cleared this out first. He went away? Okay, good. So, here's a decision point. I'm gonna decide not to go first. Leave me alone. Okay, so I see this area. I see this area. And there. Okay, I've seen that. I'm going to that. Oh, look, here's another dis decision point. I'm going to do mark it once. Go down here, etc., etc. So you get the idea of of how this works. Okay, I've looted here, and then the really good thing about this is that the the marks that I'm making last between transitions. So I'm gonna sprint back out of this place. And I can see where I've been, because I've been leaving these marks as I go. So I'm retracing my steps. Avoiding the trap. Going out. It's dark. Those are the marks I left earlier, so after the transition, if I go through an iron door in a Nord Ruin, or a big Dwemer door in a uh, Dwemer Ruin, duh, you can see that your marks are still there. They don't stay indefinitely. I haven't actually figured out how long it takes them to go away, how many transitions, how much in-game time, I don't know. But, um, you can either ignore this. Just use the simple method of marking where you've been. Or if you're impulsive like I am, you can set up a, a system using two marks to, to, to say I did this, three marks to, to say I did that. You can use fire to do this, but the mark it leaves is much uh, harder to spot. And of the, uh, the destruction of the ice, Uh, spells. I like Ice Spike the best because it's a good uh, level between how much uh, Magicka it takes and how soon in the game you can get it. Blizzard, of course, is a master level spell. And it lasts forever. That's not really all that useful for our purposes. I probably killed Frost at the same time. I killed myself. Frost Ruin. You could do that, but then if you have to walk, um, if you have a follower, they might trip over it. Frostbite, I demonstrated. Fro fro ice Spike, I demonstrated. Ice Storm, again, is a little bit overkill. And it leaves a very imprecise mark. I see Spear is an even higher level spell. And it works. It works too. Like Ice Spike, it leaves the same kind of level, but Icy Spear is an expert level spell that costs 74 Magicka. Well, Ice Spike is Apprentice and it costs 11. So, is that all my Ices? And Wall of Frost, we're not even going to get into. Anyway, uh, I hope somebody else in the world finds this useful. Uh, if not, if I'm just speaking into the wind, that's okay. YouTube has lots of space to uh, to store useless videos. Anyway, again, I am a Lockdown Plays. I hope you found this useful. I already said that. And I hope in this uh, time of COVID-19 that you are staying as safe as possible. And thank you very much.